Diesel prices hit record highs this week, affecting everything from the delivery of basic needs to getting your kids to school. Trucking companies are being hit the hardest by the higher fuel costs. As News 13's Emily McLeod tells us, industry experts say it's a matter of time before they raise their prices or shut down. Diesel prices hitting an all-time high this week, $5.62 a gallon. Florida Trucking Association President and CEO Alex Miller says prices have been slowly creeping up for about a month. People take for granted how important trucking is to their daily lives. Everything that they eat, touch, wear, and drive on uh, is affected by and brought to you by a truck. She says if the upward trend continues, we could see more supply chain issues. Trucking connects every aspect of our economy, and when you start to see shortages or supply chain disruptions, that really does affect everyone. And it's not just consumers who are feeling the effects of those high diesel prices. It's also agencies like Bay District Schools who are feeling the pain at the pump. You, you got to figure last year this time we were paying two fifty a gallon. Um, you know, before that, we're paying, you know, about a buck ninety, buck ninety five. Bay District Schools Transportation Director Michael Carter says they've had to increase the fuel budget by four hundred thousand dollars to make up for rising costs. No one anticipated this, obviously. So, you know, we budgeted about eight hundred thousand for fuel, thinking, you know, that's over what we would normally spend. Um, not so. We're about 1.2 million right now. Carter says it's ultimately taxpayer money and the district must be financially responsible. At the end of the day, you either have met the goal or you haven't. And we're getting into the area where we haven't met the goal. And so, yeah, you, you start looking at having to cut things out that, uh, you know, that's unfortunate. Carter says the cost of fuel is impacting their entire operation and he doesn't see this slowing down anytime soon. In Bay County, Emily McLeod, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Carter says staffing is usually his biggest concern, but right now it's fuel.